Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of an example of squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Let's orientate ourselves. And this is actually arising in the face at the angle of the mouth. We have the upper and lower lips here. And this is the irregular tumor in the form of a nodular mass on the skin surface. Let's take a look at the back view. And here we can see that the tumor is actually involving the oral mucosa. In this area, this uninvolved oral mucosa appears relatively smooth and homogeneous as opposed to the area of tumor involvement. And here is the subcutaneous fat. Turning the specimen back around, we can see that the tumor forms a raised nodule on the surface of the skin that appears to be invading into the lip as well as the skin of the face and the surface is rather eroded and raw. Let's look at another example of squamous cell carcinoma. Here is another example of squamous cell carcinoma and this time the tumor is involving the right foot. This is a very destructive tumor that has destroyed the last two toes and it is a fungating mass that is arising from the surface of the skin. And we can see actually on the deep surface that it is eroding into the metatarsal bones. As you can see here, the tumor is invading into the second and third metatarsal bones. And this is part of the tumor. So this is a very destructive tumor that has actually eroded through and destroyed the lateral two digits of the foot and is also invading into the metatarsal bones. Let's learn a bit more about squamous cell carcinoma. This is the second commonest tumor arising in sun-exposed skin, second only to basal cell carcinoma. The risk factors being UV radiation, immunosuppression, actinic keratosis, which are precursor lesions to squamous cell carcinoma, chronic long-standing inflammation, for example, in chronic ulcers or in the presence of a sinus tract, HPV infection, and genetic conditions such as xeroderma pigmentosum. The location is usually in sun-exposed skin because of the link with UV radiation, so the face is a rather common site for SCC. And this usually occurs in the form of either a flat plaque, a nodule, as you can see here, or an ulcer. You may access these interactive virtual pathology specimens by scanning these QR codes, and these are found in our Virtual Pathology Museum. Microscopically, and there is a separate video on this, there will be sheets and lobules of malignant squamous cells showing varying degrees of keratinization. We can see some keratin pearls here, and also sometimes single cell keratinization. The presence of these intercellular bridges are features of squamous differentiation, and we may also see varying degrees of nuclear pleomorphism. Prognostically, the size, the depth of invasion, not just in terms of measurement, but also in terms of how far down the tumor has spread through the local structures, perineural invasion, lymphovascular invasion, and also the grade of the tumor are important prognostic factors. Hence, in summary, this is an example of a squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. In this instance, we can see that it is arising in the face with the upper and lower lips here. And remembering that this is a tumor that is associated with UV radiation. The tumor will often metastasize to cervical lymph nodes. This is an irregular mass that is arising at the angle of the mouth with a nodular appearance and with areas of erosion on the surface. And this tumor also invades into the underlying tissue all the way through to the oral mucosa. If you scroll down on this page in our Virtual Pathology Museum, you will see clinical vignettes, gross descriptions, microscopic pictures that have been annotated, and you will also see examples of talking pots and talking slides. 
This is taken from our online pathology resource, PathWeb, and you can register for free using this QR code or the link in the video description. Thank you.